Welcome to Let's Rap. I'm Derek Carr. I'm your host and my beautiful co-host Lisa Crutcher Thurman, Ebony Ingram Jones, and Let's Rap is a show designed to talk to everyone, no specific age group in mind, anybody who has any issues, who's just living life. This is what Let's Rap is for. Working on righteous and just processes is what we're going to do. So we do the same thing we do all the time. How are my ladies doing today? Y'all doing good? We're well. We're right. wonderful. Let's smack mm-hmm. this topic. Let's mm-hmm. get okay. in. So we always talk about the topic, and then we say let's rap, and then we rap about it. So the value of vulnerability. Wow. Mm. So let me read the definition first. Capable of being physically or emotionally wounded, open to attack or damage easily, hurt or harm physically, mentally, or emotionally. Then the expanded definitions. Now that sounds a little rough, Mm -hmm. and that sounds rough, but these are the expanded definition. To the courage to be yourself no matter what. Mm -hmm. Willing to take risks. The ability to express one's feelings openly and increase humility to receive feedback and criticism. Mm -hmm. So that sounds a little better. However, not many easier to do. Right. Because being vulnerable, like we said in the show before, and the reason why I wanted to go to this topic is because we kind of touched on it before. Uh And we said where it seems like we equate vulnerability with weakness. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's really not that. It's not that at all. So uh, vulnerability, what's the value of it? What what are your thoughts, Ebony? Just right off, just listening to that. Right. No right or wrong answer. What is your take on the value of vulnerability? Sure. So um, vulnerability, I think we said it in the previous show, is essential if you are going to form and maintain valuable, valuable relationships. Absolutely. Um, and so, but we understand based on that definition that you gave, you're going to have to expose yourself, yes. which is risky. Yes. Um, so I understand why people are hesitant to be vulnerable because that means my my belly is, is exposed, you yeah. know. And if I'm not careful, if I'm not watchful, and if there are people around me who cannot be trusted, that could really prove bad for me. Um, however, if I am vulnerable within the right circumstances, that provides the space and the place and the time for growth, for love, and for a genuine relationship. So it's a it's a risky thing but it's a it's a um it's worth it kind of like paying playing the lottery for five years <laughs> you know every day straight it's not worth it but when, i mean you know it may not look worth it but then when you hit it boom it it's off. like yeah. it really pays off so absolutely great t- great yeah. definition lisa your thoughts on the value of vulnerability i'm not gonna play the lottery or anything like that <laughs> but <clears throat> two things came to mind and of course I can't hold two thoughts together so I only got the one right now maybe the other come in a little while but I thought about now I've, I've known my husband since I was nine years old but didn't actually start dating to a re, you know leading toward a relationship until much much later and I guess I was getting close to 30 or something mm-hmm. yeah so anyway we um I knew what I wanted and they gonna put it out there and get no younger whole biological clock was ticking mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I know I put myself out there and I wrote him a letter a love letter after this first major date and I told him <laughs> he was gonna be my husband now mind you we ended up dating two more years and it was engaged for a year but because I knew, I'm like, look, if I am spinning my wheels not getting anywhere, mm-hmm. so go ahead and let me know. I express my feelings and how I felt, and you take it or leave it. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times you have to do that because mm-hmm. <clears throat> the other thing I'm thinking about is like being with my students and um, stuff. Whenever we get ready to eat, I'm going to say my blessing. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's not something that everybody does, but once the students see me, oh, my crutch is going to say a blessing. So they don't, you know, they feel more comfortable. Mm-hmm. But, you know, as far as other people, you don't know where people's minds and mm-hmm. things are. So to me, that was another thing, like putting yourself out there. Mm-hmm. I am a Jesus believer. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's being vulnerable. Mm-hmm. And another another thing i like that you said that is because we have to be vulnerable especially in relationships Mm -hmm. close relationships 
whether it be dating relationships, intimate relationships, or whether it just be platonic relationships, right, right. you have to be vulnerable in order mm -hmm. to be close to someone. There's Absolutely. not possible to have a closeness mm -hmm. that's unexplainable right. if you're not vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And we all need those few people. Now, I'm not saying you have to be vulnerable to everybody. No. No, Please no, do no. not mishear me because everybody does not have your, uh, your best interest mm -hmm. in heart right. and in mind. So you can't be vulnerable with everybody. Mm -hmm. But when you find yourself in a space, right. in a situation, like Ebony said, in a in a situation, the safe situation, or a circumstance where you can afford to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. you should do that at all mm -hmm. costs. Yeah. Uh, and I think about my relationship with my two best friends. One is Alex Bertrand, and the other one is Rico King. Oh, yeah. And we have shared some things over the years that I have not told anybody mm -hmm. but them two fools. Correct. And just the fact that you're not judged right absolutely. because that's one of the first that things is thing. that is scary About is because mm. when I unveil this and all these idiosyncrasies yeah. and these mm -hmm. ugly things that I don't even like about myself. Or just weird like, things. just weird right. yeah. fetishes, yeah. things that you have, right. just innuendos uh -huh. that you don't tell nobody but God. And mm -hmm. sometimes right. you won't even tell, tell him. him. <laughs> but he knows. Uh, but he knows. <laughs> right, right, but you right. don't even tell him yeah. because those are things that you think are weird or they make you different mm -hmm. or they set you mm -hmm. apart. And that's not always easy to tell Correct. without trust. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so that's important. But in order to have close, meaningful relationships, there it has to be a point of vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yes. Um, one thing that I like to read, anything we say, we're going to always put the word on it. Yeah. So yeah. one scripture that I wanted to read is James 1 and 5. If any, any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach. And it will begin, it, and I'm sorry, and it will be given to him. So yes, whatever you yes, ask yes, God, yes, yes. you know, he will give it to you if you ask. Mm -hmm. And we, we know that, but you have to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's even with Christ. Mm -hmm. You have to be vulnerable. And even though Lisa said a good point, I'm, saying, I'm glad she said that. Yes, he knows all things, but he won't fix what you won't mm -hmm. face. That's Absolutely. it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And if you know you're a liar mm -hmm. and you, he knows you're a liar, but if you don't admit it, then he can't fix mm -hmm. that. Right. Or, you know, if there's something that you're not doing that mm -hmm. you should be doing that mm -hmm. he called you to do that you're staying away from and you know you've been convicted and you that is your mission to carry out then you know he's not you're gonna keep going but you can right. only run so far right right <laughs> you can only run so far and so it just helps when you're vulnerable with christ mm -hmm. the same way that you're vulnerable with him vulnerable with relationships but that's the only way that you have true growth mm -hmm. that's true god help me yeah. that's true. help me uh another scripture that i want to read before we get to the break um that I wanted to share. And it uh, it's, it's just with the man being vulnerable with God, with Jesus, basically. And it's Mark 9 and 21. He asked his father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood. And often he has thrown himself, himself right. both right. into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible mm -hmm. to him who believes. Wow. Immediately, verse 24, wow. this is the one that just seals it. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Mm -hmm. Help my unbelief. Mm -hmm. Help my unbelief. Okay. And to me, that is the part that is, he's he's asking, he's begging Jesus to help my unbelief. Yes, yes. He is admitting, he is being vulnerable at mm -hmm, that point. Mm -hmm. I have not believed. Correct. My child is in this, and right, we right, know right. as parents, I'm not a parent, but I know as yes, my friends yes. with parents and my God kids, are you crowd in distress when mm -hmm. something's wrong with your child? Yes. You know, and you don't care what mm -hmm. people think, now. who's looking. Now. It's the same thing with Christ. Mm -hmm. When you need something from him, yeah, are you need, he yes. said immediately, mm -hmm. the father of the child cried out and said with my t with tears, Lord, help my unbelief. Mm -hmm. Lord, I believe, help right. my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that the man, that the people mm -hmm. came running in together, he rebuked the unclean spirit saying mm -hmm. to it, deaf and dumb spirit, I command you to come out of him and enter him no more. Then the spirit cried out to boast him greatly and came out of him and he became as one thank you lord when uh, what come to my mind right then is just the little as a mustard seed that's to have faith yes. to trust to believe and 
that was another thing too with talking with believers. Sometimes your faith may not be as strong. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then that's when you got to remind, uh, we have to remind each other of your faith value. You know God is, yes. can do this. He's done this. Mm-hmm. He's done that. So we just got to believe and trust. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Man. And I got, I got passionate when I read it because mm-hmm. it is so, we, I think we are so wrong about vulnerability mm-hmm. and we are so wrong about putting things out there because right. when you get in a situation. Come on, come on. And can't nobody help you mm-hmm. but God. Now, and you really need something from Him. I remember being sick, mm-hmm. and I didn't know if I was gonna live or die. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I said, Lord, please, mm-hmm. I trust you. Uh huh. If it's for me to live, then let me live. Mm-hmm. Right. But it's for me to die, then <laughs> let me die. I was just right. at that point. Right. Mm-hmm. And when He gave me life. Thank you, I Lord. promised him that going forward, I will continue to be a living testimony yes. of his goodness, his mercy, and that he has a healing virtue and power. Oh, yes. He can do it. Derek, you have I have a it. question for you. You brought up when you were sick, and I think we both remember when Derek oh, was yes, sick. Oh, yes, ma'am. But going back to vulnerability, because like you said, it was touch and go. Mm-hmm. People who were close to Derek were hitting the prayer floor because we oh didn't know goodness. like you yes. said we didn't know which way yeah. it was gonna go and i'll never forget the first sunday that you came back to church wow which you had to be vulnerable yes. to yes. come and do that because you you were so small right? and on a walker and we, you were on a walker so this yeah. is big yes. breath everybody knows yes. Derek. he has always been big and yeah. muscular and mm-hmm. fit and strong that was vulnerability yeah. yes. to come to church that way and he could have easily said, I ain't going and people's going to talk about right. me. Right. What are they going to say? But what, in your opinion, when you came to church, and it's all different kinds of people in church. Everybody's yeah. not yeah. saved. Everybody's not your friend. But when you displayed that level of vulnerability, what would you say was the greatest response to you? The greatest response to me was the empathy that people instantly displayed. Correct. And... Uh, and if they couldn't feel empathy, mm-hmm. then sympathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. And even though, and if it wasn't the type of sympathy, oh, I feel so sorry for you. It was, I'm going to pray for you. Mm-hmm. Yes. What can I do for yes. you? Mm-hmm. You know, people immediately went to the needs Absolutely. of mm-hmm. what I needed. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, people wrote checks because mm-hmm. I was only getting 66% uh, percent of my income. Right. And I, my mama didn't have it. She's on disability. Who's mama you know, does who have the, it? And, right. you know, I, I didn't know what was going <laughs> right. to happen. Uh-huh. Right. I had family members pay car payments. Yes. I had church members sending money, buying food for my family. Yes. Right. Uh, Kim Wilson brought me Tahitian treats every week. Yes. Diane Harris brought me a watermelon because that's all I could, could eat, eat yeah. every right. week. Yes, yes. People would call. Do you want some, some, something to eat? Do you right. want some dinner? Do you want some lunch? Do you want anything? And then when I was in the hospital, just the, ni- the, the closeness, just the niceness that mm-hmm. people showed. Mm-hmm. And so, yes, it was a display of empathy. But I had to be vulnerable yes. in order for that, that to happen. Absolutely. And I think sometimes <clears throat> we don't do it because in our minds, mm-hmm. the enemy, if you walk up in that church, hmm. then people are going to talk about you. Yeah. And people are going to mm-hmm. laugh at you. Those people right. are, the people who don't like you are going to point fingers at you and say, that's what you get. You know, mm-hmm. in our minds, mm-hmm. that's what happened. Yeah. But sometimes when we take that chance to be vulnerable, mm-hmm. the Lord proves to us. Yeah. Just like if you um, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to yes, forgive yes. us. You can come to church. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And if Same. you are vulnerable with your brothers and sisters, mm-hmm. they will probably more than likely be compassionate and loving and you know christian to you so i'm i'm glad that you were able to 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 share that and that is a blessing but the flip side of that it was some people that said some things it was some people that made some comments but at that point i did not care right (laughs) and when you're vulnerable and you at the end your wits end and that's it you don't care Mm -hmm. you don't care so look we're going to take a break and we'll be right back to finish this topic because this is really a good conversation oh, yes. and I am really appreciating okay. this. So we'll be right back after this break. Hi, I'm Dr. Giovanni Rondo, host of Healthy Mind, Body and Spirit. Welcome to season two. We have numerous topics that we'll be talking about this year, including stress, COVID-19 vaccines, depression, high blood pressure, diabetes, and numerous other topics that are pertinent for us 
the African American community here in the Kentuckiana area. Be sure to join us every week right here or on demand at ssclivetv.com. SSC Live TV, it's TV our way. So welcome back to Let's Route, and today we're talking about the value of vulnerability. So I want to share a passage in this book. It's called Shift Your Thinking, 200 Ways to Improve Your Life. Uh, it's by Dean Del Soto. Um, he has one passage that talks about vulnerability, so I'm just going to read the first part of it, and then I'll get you all's reaction. So, truth is the beginning of the end for all strongholds. As humans, one of the scarier things in life is to be fully honest mm -hmm. with how we think, feel, and process life. Unfortunately, the misconception that others can't be trusted with our vulnerability mm -hmm. has more to do with our own insecurities Absolutely. than it does distrust of others. As for the impact of keeping this stuff inside, it creates enough baggage to weigh heavy on the strongest minds, if not completely incapacitated them. It, it can incapacitate them completely. Um, so basically, a lot of our vulnerability struggles are because of us. Mm -hmm. It's not other people. <laughs> it's because of us. Mm -hmm. And you can't erase or ask God to fix a stronghold or right. something that's over your life unless you admit it. Mm -hmm. right. And then unless you're vulnerable. So, thoughts, ladies? Well, I think some of my ability to say what I feel, when I feel it, how I feel it, mm -hmm. has come with, well, age and my experience. Mm -hmm. Having the brain injury and limited remembrance mm -hmm. of things, I make sure I say it right now, because in the event I might forget. <laughs> so I've that has helped me be a lot bolder mm -hmm. and say what I thought and feel. Mm -hmm. And you know, people like you said, gonna take it or they don't have to mm -hmm. because those who matter won't care and those who don't matter, you don't care what mm -hmm. they think. I'm glad you used the word bold mm -hmm. because you, you opened up with saying that a lot of people think that being vulnerable means you're, you're being weak, but no. Mm -hmm. Being vulnerable means I have to be bold enough within myself, bold enough in my confidence to show you who I am, whether it fits the norm or not. Absolutely. So um, I'm glad you use the word bold because yeah. that that changes the dynamic of the, the of the conversation. Thing. Absolutely. And um, you do have to be bold. Um, and like he said, I like um, in the book, he was saying it. A lot of times, it doesn't even have anything to do with other people. Right. Your own insecurities. It's you. It's you. And at that point, you need to reflect. Why do I think so poorly of other people? Yeah. yeah. Is it because that's how you see yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that how you think you deserve to be treated? Mm -hmm. Like, self-reflect right. and um, so that you can get to the root of that. Because... Um, like you said, we're not telling you to just trust everybody, right. but most of the time, most people are good. Yeah. Right. Most people yeah. will look out for you. Most people do have your best interest at heart and do not want to see you down. So, well, yeah. pray for discernment too, because God can help yeah. you. He can help to you know. with that. Mm -hmm. he will. Yes. Oh yes, so absolutely. you won't just put yourself out, out there. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing, when we're vulnerable, we finally have the ability to genuinely feel joy grief pain it's not always fun mm -mm. the pendulum swings both ways but it's real mm -hmm. it's real life so when you really deal with something what that tells me if you really just be honest and be forthcoming then it may hurt it may not feel good it may be something that bothers you or it may be something that makes you happy but ultimately you can be free mm -hmm. because you're being your authentic self mm -hmm. right. and you're giving an authentic reaction to something and you're not putting on a facade because mm -hmm. that's what we all do, yes. Correct. especially as Christians. Correct. Yes. We have all kinds of facades mm -hmm. and masks and faces that we yeah. wear. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you you can't sweat the small stuff. Right. And sometimes things do happen. And sometimes I, it's hard for me to do because I wear my feelings on my face. Mm -hmm. I have never <laughs> in my life 
had a poker face. Mm -hmm. When I'm upset, that's what it you is. You finna see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just even when I was a little boy, you better stick them lips out. You sticking them <laughs> lips out, you better stick them in. I don't even know. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, I just I've never <laughs> been able to match that. And even as an adult, I'm working on it, and that is a working progress mm -hmm. for me. It's a working progress for me because you cannot let everything get to you, mm -hmm. or you can't always be vulnerable. Yes. And that's what that is. Mm -hmm. You're being vulnerable, but you can't do it in every space. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I've had to learn how to, I'm learning how okay. to kind of mask that, or not even really mask it, just, you know, kind of mm -hmm. hold on and think about it. You okay. know, have some time right. to re rethink on it because mm -hmm. you don't always want to react in every right. situation. On the off chance, it could be you. It could Correct. be. Could be. In the wrong. This could time. be. So you got to wait. You got to right. be cool. Um, so like we said, vulnerability is not a weakness. Feeling connected to others. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like I was saying earlier, how being connected to your friends, being connected to even family members. Mm -hmm. um, you make a choice to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You know, like when something happens and somebody do something to you, look, man, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't like what that you did. You're being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. In that sense, you're yeah. telling somebody what you don't like. Or check this out. So when we always talk about things, we always want to give you right. uh, solutions. So examples of practicing vulnerability. So you have to be intentional about mm -hmm. this. Oh, yes. Okay. So be the first to apologize. Mm. Mm. How about that? Right. One? What's the saying? Do you re would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? Well, you know what I'm saying? It. So yeah. some things you, you got to let that go. I'm, yeah. I'm learning that day by day. Okay. Be, um, the kind of person I am, being right mm -hmm. means a lot. Mm -hmm. Like just instinctively. Yeah. And I've been that way since I was a child. That ain't right. Uh, nope. I, because in my mind, right. and I'm not necessarily a black and white person. I, mm -hmm. I understand that there's some movement in the gray area. What I'm saying though is, when something's right, um, I, want it, I want that thing to be. And we know life isn't right. like that, right? Yep. Especially in relationships. And yep. I'm mm -hmm. learning, um, I'd say within the past three years, mm -hmm. that stop being so fixated on being right at me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even if you are right, what? Okay, now what? Right. right. Okay, <laughs> now what? You know, right. and um, that, that has helped me with peace. It has also challenged me to be a better person. Yeah. Okay. Because you can... Get comfortable and thank you um, in the in the right place and at the right time and all that. And honey, something will come through your life Say and it. knock it all I down. Know right. And yeah. you won't have that to rest on because sometimes you're gonna be wrong, like you were saying. What is most important is how can we make the situation better? How can we make each other better? Yeah. And um, that Common takes vulnerability, ground. absolutely. Compromise. And I don't like it. I, right. I'll be the first to say I do not. I just want everybody to be right. <laughs> I do. And I mean, but that, yeah. and that's being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, give your opinion because somebody might feel like that's not correct. Absolutely. That's how you feel. Yeah, that's and how you're I, being honest. That's how I feel. Uh, one thing that you said was experience. You know, uh, you got to learn from your experiences. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. Uh, and then um, another way to practice vulnerability express appreciation. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be afraid to say that because yeah, right. everybody's not always ready to receive mm -hmm. a thank you. Yeah. There's some people, especially at work, prime example. Um, the people that report to me, um, when they do something, I appreciate something, I tell them thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, I appreciate what you've done. And it's not always totally received. Like, some people feel like at work, I'm just doing my job. Job, absolutely. No. That's me. That's, I mean, yeah, you're doing yeah. your job, but you still should be thanked for it. Mm -hmm. You know, because even though you're doing your job and he's doing his job and he's doing his job, you might be doing it better. Mm -hmm. And Dang. you might you you might get something that somebody else don't get and so if i'm appreciating you mm -hmm. you know then it's sometimes vulnerable to accept appreciation uh -huh. but i think too yeah. is doing it different doing it the attitude that you have when Absolutely. you do it and you can tell when someone is happy to help you or here she come what she <laughs> want you right. know kind of thing or hold on a second i get right with you and you know that makes a big difference it does mm -hmm. it does Another one, share your problems. Now, mm -hmm. this is the one you have to be careful with. And this is where Lisa brought up asking God for discernment. Because mm -hmm. you can't tell everybody your problems mm -hmm. because some people pretend to be your friend, now. but they just celebrate in your woes and your 
issues and your mistakes and they love to hear that so they can tell somebody else not those people and i think all of us kind of know who those people right, are right. and we know who those people are in our lives mm -hmm. so it's okay to share your problem with those one or two people mm -hmm. that you trust yeah and that you can be vulnerable with and then everything ain't to be shared absolutely some things you just have to take to the say, king say it. you got to just tell god yeah and wow. that's it and he, wow. but the best thing about this you can tell him anything. Yes, mm -hmm. you can. And you can be 100% vulnerable with him. He won't tell nobody else. Yeah. And he's the one that can fix it. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. You know, I'm all about now. Uh, getting things fixed mm -hmm. and going to the horse's mouth. And mm -hmm. he's definitely the author and the finisher of our faith mm -hmm. and our existence. So whatever problem that we face, we can always go to him. Mm -hmm. So be vulnerable with Christ. If you can't be vulnerable with nobody else, be vulnerable with him. Practice being vulnerable with him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. When you say and fix it, one of the reasons, like when my mom passed, I never cried in front of my husband or my daughter. Mm -hmm. Because one, that was she was already so emotional about everything yeah. and really upset. So I was trying to be strong for her, where my husband, and then everything, well, okay, what's going on? He's going to fix it. What do correct, you need? Correct. Uh, always try. No. This you can't it. fix. Yeah. And rather than have him be upset, because I'm upset, or to upset my, I was uh, in the shower, mm -hmm. then on the way to work, you know, because you got to get it out. Yeah. yeah. And the whole time I was talking to God, he you know, I was fired up for a long time. Absolutely. But I did forgive him. Because <laughs> I know he's doing what he had to do. And then I had to thank him because he knew best. Absolutely. Because can you imagine mama doing a pandemic? Oh, my God. He knows. Oh, he knows. He knows. Thank you, Jesus. Even though we don't, right. we don't right. know, but he knows. Mm -hmm. That's like things are working out right now that right we now. might be concerned about. Mm -hmm. And we sitting here, you Stewing know, having a conversation, uh -huh. Uh -huh. stewing over something. Mm -hmm. Don't know how it's going to turn out, he but he didn't out. already work yes, it out. God. That's why your faith file trust. is so important. Trust. Yes. And trusting him because those things that he's already brought you out of mm -hmm. yes. is your experience. And that's your your catalyst to know, hey, he got me. Mm -hmm. now, And he's brought me out of worse things than Absolutely. this. Absolutely. If I've seen death now. and he brought me back from that, mm -hmm. he can bring me back from a situation Absolutely. that's hurting me or that's on my mind. Mm -hmm. He has the power and the strength to do all things. Mm -hmm. But we just got to trust him and trust believe him. in him. Uh, and the last one is admit what you don't know. Mm. I'm quick to do that. I promise uh, I have no see, and problem. Everybody's not like that. Mm -hmm. You know, and what I've learned as being a manager at work, that is my strongest suit. It is. Absolutely. Because yeah. when in a minute I'll talk to somebody, we have a meeting, or if it's something mm -hmm. that I don't know myself, but I can be, I am resourceful. Mm -hmm. exactly. And I know somebody to call Absolutely. who does know. And let me get right back to you. There is nothing wrong with saying, you know what? I don't know that. Mm -hmm. But I can figure out who does know Correct. it. Correct. I can get educated right. on mm -hmm. what, because that's how ignorance is, is you just don't just understand. Don't you don't know. You don't understand something mm -hmm. that is in your face. So you're ignorant to that. So it's not saying that you're absolutely dumb. I, I mean, the thing is, I like to think I'm a pretty smart individual. You are. You but are. A lot of stuff I might be ignorant to right. with law, and mm -hmm. I don't know that. And but yeah. vice versa with Absolutely. Medicare. I was going to say. Vice versa with teaching. There's mm -hmm. certain things I don't know. We are all versed in different exactly. things. Absolutely. But that's what makes the world, and that makes us who we are, mm -hmm. because we all add something. Mm -hmm. Everybody adds value yes. in something, in what they're what their what comes natural to them mm -hmm. or what their expertise is in. Mm -hmm. That's where they add value. Yeah, I'm glad you said that, <clears throat> because um, people get... I do like being right. I'm not going to lie about okay. that. But there's one thing um, that I've learned. <laughs> you don't, you're not as, you're not half as smart as you think you are. No. Okay. There no, is no, just no. so much out there right. that we do not know. Yeah. Right. And that will make you vulnerable because mm -hmm. for number one, it's going to make you humble. Yeah. Uh -huh. When you have to acknowledge, I don't know anything. Right. And there are some things. I don't care how many books you have read. Mm -hmm. Some things you don't even know exist. Exactly. Yeah. And um, when you when you approach life that way, it helps you to be vulnerable yeah. because you're not so puffed up all the right. time. And it keeps you from not being a student. Oh, because yeah, I right. feel like right. when you get to a point where you know everything, you no longer can learn. Mm -hmm. And when you lose your ability way. to learn, okay. then what is your purpose? Mm -hmm. What is your purpose? Yeah. Pastor just talked about it 
in service, talking about how we got to learn. You can't be stuck in Joppa. Absolutely. You know, you have to move forward. You wow. have to get ready that to do some thing. things yes. that you've never done yes. before, and you can't afford to be afraid of Absolutely. them. You have to be willing to step out. Mm -hmm. Whatever that thing is, right. you have to be willing to step out. That's yeah. the only way that you're going to learn. So being vulnerable is also saying, hey, I need to learn that. Absolutely. I need to learn more about mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know, and just think about with Christ. I need to learn more about him. Absolutely. I want our relationship to be stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, that's my prayer. I want to be better yes. than I was yesterday. Mm -hmm. I want to be a better Christian. I want to be better to people. Mm -hmm. You know, that you have to be vulnerable to mm -hmm. say that because that means you're not the best. Right. And that's what you're saying. So we thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us today. We are out of time and uh, we have really enjoyed this conversation. I know I have I and really I've learned have something that. like I do every week. Yes. I cannot thank you ladies enough for being vulnerable mm -hmm. to come on this show to help us every week to discuss topics to make us better as people. Working on righteous and just processes mm -hmm. is what yes. we're doing. So let us have a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for this thank day. You, God. We thank you for the ability to be 100% vulnerable mm -hmm. with you, God. And you don't judge us. You don't make us feel less than. Mm -hmm. You don't talk about us mm -hmm. and God thank you so much that you don't expose us thank God you, and we right. thank, thank you, you for just blessing us in spite of ourselves and our own personal circumstances we thank you for your goodness and your mercy God teach us how to be vulnerable mm -hmm. and vulnerable the right way because yes. it's a way to be vulnerable God, so teach us that. Teach us Give that. us the spirit of discernment, mm -hmm. too, so that we can identify clearly those who we can trust with situations mm -hmm. and that we can yes. be 100% vulnerable yes. with those people, God. Yes, God. Give us the ability to keep learning yes. and knowing that we don't know everything mm -hmm. and to admit to you that you are our Father and you are the yes, author are. and finisher thank of you. our faith mm -hmm. and you. our life and our very existence. So we thank you on tonight for being thank God. You. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. And God, we pray right now that you would bless us to yes. be better than we've been. Yes. In Christ Jesus' name, we'll be Jesus forever careful you. to give your name all the glory, oh, yes. all the honor, and all the praise that you are more yes. than due. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Let's route. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed. Yes. We'll see you later. Bye.